Let's get this on record. If I ever do finish my epic wounded Viking book, are you gonna put in a good word for your publisher for me? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> and I would, I would, a publisher would be crazy uh, not not to uh, pick up a story like that. Is it hard to find a publisher? No. Well, I don't know. It depends. If your book is something that you couldn't find. If you were looking for a book and you couldn't find it, and then decide to write that book, then it's the, the publisher will come to you. Are you sure that you're not giving yourself a little bit too little credit because it no. has been easy for you because you create very good content? No, I also use Twitter as a place and my blog as a place where I dance like nobody's watching. I steer clear of having opinions about religions and politics and minorities, of course, uh, luckily. Is that something you would advise me to do? Because I definitely yeah, have dabbled. Yeah, like nobody's watching because uh, telling the story of the whole process of writing is, is one of the reasons why people would follow you. They want to know how the story ends. Mm. Plus you commit to something publicly and from, with your personality it would work because you have committed publicly to doing so and telling the story of how the process goes with all its ups and downs will, will increase the chance that you will actually finish the product because writing in itself is one of the most, it's ugly, you know? Um, literally on the day, I was in the same place in the south of France when I finished my book and then I got a ride back home uh, and uh, I was just, you know, I looked like Smeagol. Uh, I was smelly, I was pale, I had been drinking too much coffee, and I was just, you know, worn out completely. And I arrived home, and my then husband told me he wanted a divorce. And Oof. I'm not the only writer, and that's the funny part, I know three other Flemish publishers who had the exact thing, same thing happen to them. So they, they, had, <laughs> they had a divorce during you know, the last week of their deadline. There, it is someone who is working towards a deadline of something as complicated as a book is impossible to live with. Mm. You don't eat, you don't sleep, you don't take care of your uh, personal hygiene, you snarl. Uh, you, you don't want to, you, you, it takes months, in my case, to get into the flow. And when you are in the flow, which is usually a week before the deadline, yeah, <laughs> then, then, yeah, you're just like Smeagol, and then everyone who enters into your personal space is trying to take away your precious. So, it's, you know, there's a difference between a cause and, and you know, things that happen often, like finishing a book and getting a divorce. <laughs> uh, but there's a reason. It's not... You there's know, no, it's, not a, it's not only a coincidence. No, it's your... Most people who finish a, a big artistic project are just impossible to live with. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, and you can romanticize it, but personally, I wouldn't want to live with someone a few weeks before a big deadline. It's just... No. Do you need help making better decisions in your life? Are you lacking self-confidence and motivation to get things done? Hire me today and get a direct daily line of communication with me through video chat and audio messages. I operate on a week-to-week -week basis, so no long-term investment is required. Seven straight days of Viking advice will get you right on track. Email me at lorenz.dries at gmail.com and change your reality. I'm ready whenever you are. See you soon.